I grew up in Philadelphia. I come from five generations of newspaper men. There is deeply ingrained in my blood a sense of asking questions, never really truly believing what you are told. And then, of course, this quest for, for the truth. All of my work addresses contemporary social and economic issues that concern the character and identity of America. And this looks at the American dream through the eyes of the, of the worker, through the eyes of the people who have been left behind in the ashes of the Great Recession, and who story largely, I believe, has, has gone untold. And it's a story that needs to be told. So many hard-working Americans have watched the American dream disappear right before their eyes. The mere definition of social mobility, if you work hard and you play by the rules, you will be able to provide a better life for your child than you had, um, which is as many will define as the American dream. That statistically, <laughs> is increasingly less of an option. People are stuck in the lower ends of the economic bracket. I can't take it anymore. Unregulated free market capitalism has run into social moral bankruptcy. This get rich or die trying quest for profits has left millions of Americans without any hope. Big money is power, and power rules everything. The American people have been silenced. Looking at this project, which was a dark journey down our, our city streets, I ultimately saw a metaphor for America. And in referencing Ronald Reagan's famous quote, the shining city upon the hill, that shining city has now turned dark. There is a fear that has encapsulated our country. This fear has been harvested by these politicians, repackaged and served up as hate and anger to a starved country. And it's this fear which is tearing us apart, and it's fear of, of the other person, the red state or the blue state, and it's that fear that has redefined an era of what was once fearless, what was once known as doing big, bold things, American exceptionalism, there was no part of fear in that. The Empire State Building, I believe, was built during the Depression. We don't do anything like that anymore. And these politicians sit here and point the finger and do nothing as people lose jobs, people's lives are ruined, and they're ultimately able to use our fear for their own political gain. People need to be held accountable, and it's that accountability which is in jeopardy today. I read four or five newspapers a day. I take extensive notes of statistics, facts, from liberal to conservative, and it's about connecting the dots, essentially. So much has been taken away from us, but our quest for the truth and our quest for the facts are some of the very few things we have left. Newspapers have upheld the laws, morals, values in which our democracy is founded, and essentially provide as the fourth branch of government the voice of the people. And that voice can be heard throughout the pages of this collage. Um, 
um, and that's central to, to this project. I don't believe that this work is going to start a revolution and make any real sort of any change whatsoever, but it's not about making change, it's about asking questions. And that is the first step to change. And if you really want to know what's going on, uh, read the fucking paper.